In this video, we'll cover how to get an infill project started at your co-op. We'll talk about involving your community in the project, creating an infill committee, the different roles and tasks committee members can take on, and the information you'll need to collect before placing homes on your lots. Before you assemble a committee, you may need to do some community education. Do your co-op's members know that your board of directors wants to bring in new homes, and why? Do they know how the co-op and how they personally could benefit from filling your empty lots? If the answer to these questions is yes, and your membership has approved the infill project, your co-op is ready to get to work. If the answer is no, the board needs to help members understand the project's importance. A valuable exercise at a meeting is to have the board or membership envision what having a full community might mean to its members. Before the discussion, add up how much extra rent those additional homes would add to your community budget over two years. For example, say your monthly rent for co-op members is $325. One more member for one year would bring in nearly $4,000 extra dollars. Now, suppose you filled three empty lots. That's nearly $12,000. For just one year. That sure added up fast. Now comes the fun part. Ask the group to brainstorm what the co-op could do with two years rent, $24,000. Equip a clubhouse, build a playground. Your community may decide to put that extra rent into capital reserves and enable the Rock's ability to complete a large project sooner. If the additional income is enough, the co-op may consider a small rent decrease. New possibilities emerge when vacancies are filled and all revenue is maximized. Once people are excited about the possibilities, recruit them to serve on your new infill committee. The committee should include at least one board member and several non-board co-op members. Because this committee will coordinate your infill projects, recruit members with a variety of skills. Do you have a member that likes to take pictures? Photos of the community and vacant lots will be needed to get the word out about your rocks available sites. Do you have a member that enjoys landscaping? You'll want those vacant lots to look neat and inviting, so help organize volunteers to clean up the site and plant some flowers. Is there a people person? Building relationships with outside professionals and vendors will be important. How about a conversationalist? Potential new members will want to hear why your rock is a great place for them to call home. Any writers? Or maybe an internet and social media savvy member? You'll want to spread the news about your rock and its available lots on social media and a variety of websites. Is there a park expert? Realtors will need your expertise to capture details that will help market the home and your knowledge is valuable to new members. Who enjoys welcoming neighbors? You should be the first in line when potential members visit the community and view vacant lots. Is there a town historian or expert? Building relationships with key municipal officials is important when embarking on any project within the co-op. Knowing the background and connections between the town and the rock is significant. If you struggle to find members with those exact skills, that's okay. Enthusiastic volunteers can be great assets to the committee as well. Committee members should review these tasks, divide responsibilities, and establish deadlines. The committee should also create a list of the resources at the co-op's disposal for accomplishing these tasks. The committee's first task is to gather information about the site you want to put a home on. A manufactured home dealer can help determine what type and size home is most suitable for your lot. Or a committee member can gather this information. In any event, someone needs to document the size, location, and condition of the lots. What work, including plumbing, landscaping, and electrical, needs to be done. What size home the lot will accommodate. And what the town's permitting regulations and requirements are for manufactured homes. With some answers from your information gathering, the next question is, does the co-op want to put new homes on your lots, used homes, or is there no preference? Now you're ready to create your infill marketing plan. Hmm, marketing. That's another word you hear all the time. It means promoting and selling something. When we talk about infill marketing, we mean letting home shoppers know why they should buy or place a home in your co-op. A great marketing warm-up activity for your committee is coming together to brainstorm what makes your community a unique and appealing place to live. Be sure someone takes good notes. One is obvious, right? You're a resident-owned community, or rock where the members make and enforce the rules. That's pretty attractive all by itself. But what about your location? Ask each person to list three nearby attractions. Maybe it's a movie theater, restaurant, or a shopping mall. 
fishing pond, really whatever appeals to them. Are you located close to supermarkets, schools, or services? That's a great start. Think about your community in relation to geography. Are the mountains close by? How far to the beach? Commuters like easy highway access. How far to the nearest interstate? How about the condition of the community itself? Are any of your systems new or recently upgraded? Do you live in a particularly affordable part of the state? Is it a family or adult community? Is it rural or close to a city? Ask each person to list positive words that describe your cooperative like friendly or well-kept or peaceful. Again, be sure to capture all these responses in writing. They're going to be the backbone of your marketing plan. It's also helpful to list on paper the services included in each homeowner's lot rent. Does your community have trash or leaf pickup and snow removal? Is water included in the rent? The good information your committee brainstorms will be invaluable in creating a customized description of your community that should be passed along to realtors, home dealers, and any prospective buyers. Beneath this video, you'll find a link to a template that you can customize using information about what makes your community special. So your committee's on a roll, but there's more work to do to make your info project a success.